Well, state lawmakers were back in Montgomery today ahead of the start of a new session. The maneuvering has begun ahead of the 2023 regular session. Today, members of the House electing a new speaker. Representative Nathaniel Ledbetter was unanimously voted into that office, and his first task was to lead the passage of new rules for the chamber. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis joins us live now from the State House. Aaron. Val, every representative voted for Representative Nathaniel Ledbetter, who previously led the House's Republican Party. And like you said, today he made sure new rules were passed off the House floor. Former Speaker of the House Representative Mac McCutcheon left the House floor for the last time, leaving Republican Representative Nathaniel Ledbetter to take his seat. It's time to go to work, right? He's a man of his word, and at the end of the day in this business, it's all about keeping your word. Ledbetter will decide what bills make it to the floor for debate. His top priority is making fentanyl possession a felony. Well, if they come in Alabama with fentanyl, you know, they're going to be punished to the highest extent. Even with a Republican supermajority, Ledbetter says he will foster healthy debate. The speaker's gavel is not a weapon. It's a tool to be used to encourage honest debate find common ground, and represent the constituents that each of us seek to serve. The gavel was heard Tuesday to call order as representatives debated proposed rule changes. The biggest change increases the number of representatives needed to contest local bills. If you're wanting to contest an issue that is in another county, it would take 11 members to do that. Another rule reduced the time for debate from two hours to one hour. Supporters say the change rules will streamline the legislative process and give more power to committee chairs. Both parties seem satisfied. Well, valid concerns, and, and there were some agreements and concessions that have happened. So we're starting off right. And in the upper chamber, the Senate also held elections today, and leadership will stay the same with Senator Greg Reed as pro Tim, Senator Clay Schofield as the Republican Party's leader, and Senator Bobby Singleton as the minority leader. Val? All right, thanks a lot, Aaron. And lawmakers will meet tomorrow to finish the organizational session and meet in March to debate laws.